I heard a noise when I went up on the hill with Honey Baby, and this thing here is into the fan. The alternator is into the fan shroud, so it needs to be that needs to be dealt with. And my motor's still smoking now. I was over at Hot Rod Dave's the other day, and they were saying, well, I could smoke for a while with the oil that's in the system, in the pipes, and I don't know if I buy that, to be honest with you. Because I'm thinking, having done valve seats on that side and the uh, intake manifold gaskets, maybe I just got a piston or two that didn't seal, didn't seat in the, in the cylinder. And I might be faced with the idea of taking that out and boring out a cylinder or two, or making that 350, 350 engine back there and taking everything off this and put it on that. In fact, I've got everything I put on this engine would fit that one, including the cam and the heads. Now, a lot of people don't like to run. Well, there's a lot of discussion about running 283 heads on a 350. Uh, is super quick because of the compression but they don't have the uh, high rev and the last thing I need on this car is much high rev because in fourth gear uh, it goes down the road at highway speeds and uh, it's like 1500 rpm so and I got five gears in it if that doesn't resolve itself that might be my other winter project is to pull out that 350 that I got from Kevin and strip everything off this one and put it on that one put it all back together and put it over in there sure would have a lot of power that way or she said it would be scary it's already a little scary all right that was it for me today i didn't plan to do a whole lot i'm doing some paperwork and mailing off some stuff and all in the house but i did want to take her for a ride see if she's still smoking and guess what she is oh the joy but you know what I want to say this now a problem is not a reason to stop um, you know Perry Noble preached on preaches on stuff like that all the time he talked about well you know when you were on your way you, there's all kind of stories from the Bible where someone was on their way to something that was going to be amazing like Joseph you know his brother sold him into slavery he was sold into slavery again he was a servant in the house of an important man who had him thrown into jail because somebody lied about him. And he got out of there and went into somebody else's house. And then he got in trouble. I think he got thrown in jail twice. And then he wound up being the second most powerful man in the land of Egypt. And what Perry says is God had great things in mind for that young man but that young man didn't know that being sold into slavery and being imprisoned and all those things was just the path that God was using to get him there and for me to have one engine that ain't just so that doesn't mean that I'll stop I'll just put another engine in there because I've got them I've got a couple yeah I do okay okay love y'all see you bye